right, so we're in the Xtool software here. So I am going to pull in the file that I downloaded and I have the link for this that um, where I found it below. So I'm just gonna open up my downloads here and pull in reindeer ornament. Okay, so it comes in like this and it is, the height is five inches. You can definitely make that smaller. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller here. So we need to add a name on it. So unfortunately, the software is not the best about adding a name because you can't weld it together. But I'm gonna show you a few ways to do it. If you have Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, or even the Silhouette, it's much easier to do it in there and then just bring it in. But if you're just doing one or two of these, um, it takes a few minutes, but not too bad. So I'm gonna click on text over here and add a text box. We're just gonna type in the name. So up here under text, I'm gonna change this and type in Sydney. I'm gonna change my font let's see, to about love. Okay, so you can see when it comes in here, you can see how they have the overlapping on each letter. And if we try to bring it in here, and go to combine this and unite it. You'll see it only unites on those outside and all those in between letters still would be cut out. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna pull this out. So one option you can do that is probably the quickest way but it does get rid of some of these like inside the Y and stuff. You can go up to outline and make a really small outline to go to like 0 0.001 and hit OK. You'll see it outlines it here, but it doesn't give you the little spots inside the D and the Y and things like that. So depending on your name, if you don't have those, that might work for you or you might just like that better. So you can definitely do that. Um, so you can see it already combines it all together on the outline, but we're not going to do that. We are actually going to, you have to have separate letters or images or whatever to combine together. So we need to make all of these letters separately. So what I'm going to do is actually just going to copy and paste this six times. So I have one of each letter and then up here, I'm gonna go up into my text and delete everything off the sides of the S. This one, I'm gonna do everything but the Y and just keep doing that so I have all the letters. This way I know it's the exact same size. Okay, so then I'm going to I do this all manually, which is kind of a pain. I'm gonna use my arrows. So I want it all to overlap. Okay, so these three, I'm going to align them up to the bottom. little bit bigger. So go up a little bit. Okay, so you'll see how they're overlapping, but you don't want it to actually go above so it's sticking out. Because then you'll have a little bit of a, a tag on one of them. Okay, so now that I have them, I want them. I'm gonna drag my cursor over all of them and I'm going to group them so that they don't move. And now we're gonna attach them down here. So I'm just gonna bring it down. So with the reindeer, the top part of the reindeer head, you want the letters to 
overlap just on the side, but you don't want them to go, I guess if you want to, you could have them go out the side, but I am just going to put them so they overlap a little bit here. And I'm going to unlock this so I can change it individual of each other so I can pull it to the side, rotate it a little bit here. Bring it up because that Y is there. Okay, so you see how it's overlapping on these edges here? So this will weld together when I weld it. So you might want to put the nose in it here if you have some letters that come down just to make sure you're not going to cover that up. And then also another thing to note is some of the cursive letters don't connect the first and the second so you want all of these to connect because if these didn't connect then when it cuts out um, sometimes it can kind of fall and break so I would recommend having all of your letters connected like this. And I'm going to use my cursor and drag over everything. And now when I go to combine and then hit unite, you'll see that it united all those letters. So it's one continuous cut there. Okay, so now I am ready to cut it out. So I am going to go to my three millimeter pine plywood. That's what I find best to work with the wood that um, I have. And I'll link it below. It's a plywood X tool plywood that I got off of Amazon. And then I'm going to turn on my triangular prism because I have that on the bottom. And then you want to make sure you change these to cut. I want all of these cut out. Okay, and now I'm going to turn on my machine. Okay, so now I'm at my machine. This is the M1, and I'm, I always put a piece of foil shiny side down in here. It just makes it much easier to clean. And then I'm gonna put my triangle razors in here. Okay, and then I have a scratch piece of wood, so we're gonna try to get this ornament to fit on here. One of the reasons I love the M1 is that it takes the picture when I put it in. So I'm going to set this down and close that. And then, let's see, can you see on my laptop here that it has the picture of this? So I'm going to move these, and I'm actually going to move this, let's see if it will in here because this is going to be an empty cut up there so I'm just trying to save space there so I'm going to move this over and rotate him to fit I do like to give a couple millimeters on the top and bottom just to make sure if it's a little bit off him over a little bit okay and then I'm gonna go so it has all of my settings already that have worked great for this um, so now we're gonna go to process and start okay and you can say do not leave the device unattended and one of the reasons for that is sometimes people can get a fire inside I think it's a small probability I have not had one yet but I know um, that can happen when working with this kind of laser that's why you're not supposed to leave it unintended but X tool is coming out with a new um, safety feature that you can get and actually there's a giveaway going on right now if you're here around the beginning of December that you can go and I'll link it below and enter the giveaway for the um, the fire prevention safety device that they have come out with. Um, it's not released yet, so I don't have it, so I haven't used it yet. Um, but I'll also link a video below of them talking about it if you wanna check that out. Um, I have not had an issue, but 
I also don't do this all day long like some of you do, I know. So I'm gonna push the button here on the front of my machine <clears throat> and have this cut out. And you'll see that this smoke kind of comes up and that's why you use the razors. There's also a honeycomb thing that you can get. I just have the um, prism razors, the prism to rise it up so that goes underneath it. And this is also without the air assist. I did just get the air assist, but I don't have it yet. I don't have it installed yet. So I will have another um, video talking about that um, and the difference. Since I'm painting these, I wasn't overly concerned of a little bit of the dark charred edges on the on the edges, but the air assist is supposed to help with that. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cut out and then we're gonna stain it and paint them. Okay, so my machine stopped. Put that up. So we got one there and this and the nose. I'm gonna use this for the top of my letter so you can see with the air assist, I probably wouldn't get that kind of brown on the side, but like I said, I'm gonna paint these so it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna paint them real quick and put it together. Okay, for the my reindeer head, I'm just gonna use this wax. It's an antique wax, and it just makes them well, brown. It's just something I have on hand, so that's why I'm using it. So you can use any kind of stain or paint. I just rub it on here. Okay, and just to show you another option, I did these ones and I put the date on it. So you can add another text box and make it to engrave and it will engrave that first. Okay, so for the top part, this font is actually super, th it's thin, thinner than the one I did here. Um, so you just have to be real c careful on the slopes. If you're using another, like Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or something, probably recommend like offsetting it a little bit to make it a little bit thicker and then using that. So for these, I'm just gonna use some paint paint pens, but you can use, obviously, but you could use paint and a paintbrush too. And for this one's a little bit hard to hold, so I'm just gonna do that and paint him in. And for the top one, actually I don't have any, my white paint pen is not working, but I have white chalk pens. So I'm just going to use that and it's easy just to go around the outside. The chalk paint kind of tends to sink in a little bit more, so I have to do a couple coats of it. You can see that was too thin and it broke. So we are gonna try to glue on. And see if we can get that glued on. Okay, so I'm just using some wood glue, and this is actually just from the Dollar Tree. Make sure the nose is the right way.
Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. And then just need to add a little ribbon up to the top. And that's it. So like I said, it's much easier to do the wording in a different software. Like this one is the same font, but I made an offset of this so it made it thicker. So then I didn't have that problem of it getting too thin that it actually broke on me there. So this I did in, I think the silhouette. Um, if you do it in the silhouette and you have the business one, you can export it as an SVG or you can use Inkscape or um, Adobe also. But there you go and here's just another one I made with my M1 and this, um, it's a friendship one and it did all the engraving. I mean, you can see those words so well and they're so small. So did all that engraving and then I just painted the top one there and I was able to engrave two person on the back side. And, and I also made this one. So this is actually three layers and I just again used my, my paint markers there and colored that in and glued that together and then I just glued on a little hanger on the top there. So lots of options, um, tons of great files out there that you can find and I will link these below. And anyway, I hope that kind of helps showing you some different ideas of ornaments that you can make with the X-Tool. And again, make sure you check out below and um, check out the safety, the safety feature that is coming out so you can take a look and see if something that would work for you. Happy crafting. Mm-hmm. <laughs>